Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we'll show you how to remove and replace the AC compressor uh, on Honda Odyssey 3.5 engine. We have that uh, 2007 model here, but I think it will be the same procedure for many models from I believe from 05 to 2010. Stay, uh, stay with us guys. We'll start on it now. Please subscribe and help us grow the channel together. Okay guys, first we will need to remove the serpentine belt in order to remove and replace the compressor. So stay with us, we'll, we'll do that now. So this is the way to remove the belt, okay, uh, is from the bottom of the vehicle. This is the serpentine belt. What, what will be really convenient guys is uh, to actually have it on a jack stand and remove the tire, but we'll do it without removing the tire this, this, uh, this time. So let me show you what you need to do now. You need to remove your fender uh, underliner here, the splash piece, splash guard, and you need to get a 19 millimeter. Okay, right there. You can see 19 millimeter, and uh, this is the tensioner pulley, and we're going to compress that choke now. Okay, and you compress it quite a bit. You need to put quite a bit of pressure so we can remove the belt. So guys, this is pretty much two, two people job, two person job. One needs to apply the pressure on the belt and one will just slide it off. Okay, like that. I just did it from the top while one person was applying pressure on the bottom. You can see because that thing is, it takes quite a bit of pressure. I'm honest with you. So we remove the belt now. Okay, you can just pull it out from the bottom. Okay, and this is the belt right here. So now we are going to disconnect the wire for the clutch for the AC compressor. Okay, you can see where it is right there. So you push on the knob, notch there and you pull. Okay, so we disconnected it. It's out of the way now. Okay, so the AC compressor is right there on the bottom. Okay, so we will need to disconnect the hoses now. Okay, super limited room, guys. Let me see how I can make, make it a little bit better so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, you can see this is one of the hoses there. We're going, uh, we're going to remove that nut, okay, with a 10 millimeter. Soak it now an extension. Make sure you don't have any pressure in the system, vacuum it down because if you have three on, it's going to explode in your face. Okay, this one is pretty tight so we'll need to actually get the ratchet for it. Again, make sure you don't have any free on. If you do, it's going to be dangerous because when you remove that nut, the hose will get loose and all that pressure will come out and you get sprayed with free on. So, always vacuum the system down, make sure it's empty before we do that. Okay, the nut is loose now. Okay, out of the way now, we have one bolt on top with a 10 millimeter wrench. You see it in a little bit. So now we'll pull that hose out of the way. Just need to shake it a little bit and it will come out. Okay, like that. So we'll just keep it out of the way, make sure you don't get it dirty, you don't get any mud or anything like that inside of it. Now we need to remove that bolt there for the other hose with 10 millimeter wrench. Okay, got this one loose now.
Okay, out of there. So we need to remove the holes as well. Just shake them again, pull it up. Always inspect the seals, make sure they're good before we install the new compass. Okay, like that. Okay guys, we need 13 millimeter socket now. Okay. So actually it's 12, 12 millimeter guys. Okay, and we're going to remove four bolts now. Oh, right, and careful those tend to get tight. Okay, and once they get loose, they usually go pretty easy. There is two on the bottom, two on top. Okay, and once we remove those, we'll proceed with the next step and I'll show you what you need to do. It's really hard to show you exactly where they are, but once we pull the compressor out, I will be able to show you on the, on the old compressor. Okay guys, we're getting them out now. Such a limited room guys, I wish I have I had more room to show you. Okay, four bolts remember. Okay, and the compressor is there now. You can see you can move it around. Okay guys, we've heard people being able to pull them through here okay we couldn't so what we did we just got this one loose one revolution we removed these two bolts with 17 millimeter socket do not remove that bolt all the way because your suspension will drop twist that one to the side okay now we have that wire here okay that's that we'll need to remove that clip okay so we don't damage it Okay, perfect. And now we should be able to get that compressor out of here. Let's see if that works. Okay, just need to wiggle it out of here now and eventually it will come out. We just want to make sure we don't damage the wire. Okay guys, right there. You can see, we got it out. So these are the four bolts that we were talking about. Those are on top, those are on bottom. So all we have to do guys now, uh, put the new one through the hole again, the same way, install the belt, Get everything tight, refill the system, and you'll be ready to go, guys. That's how you remove it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.